Okay, so welcome to a new video here today. And in this video, I want to talk about Amazon's saturation and the fact that you need to accept that Amazon is now saturated, especially in the low content book marketplace. Now, I think what people misunderstand when it comes to saturation is that that doesn't mean you can't make sales in saturated niches. And this is one thing where when people are uploading new low content books and medium content books, they are operating as if they are the first person to that niche. And that's the problem that a lot of people have on Amazon KDP when they're getting started is that they upload books like this is 2017 and 2018. But the reality is now in 2021, we can't do that. And what I'm going to do in this video is show you examples of what I mean and how you can get out of that mindset and actually start making sales in saturated markets okay okay so what i want to do here is give you some examples of niches that are absolutely saturated and by saturated i mean that there is just tons and tons and tons of competition and what i want to do is just show you ways i'm going to give examples show ways that you can stand out in these niches and continue to make sales so that's why it never matters if you find a niche that's got a ton of competition so when you're doing your research, the main thing that you want to establish is that there is traffic going to that broad niche. So let's do an example here with password logbooks. So password logbooks, they've been uploaded onto Amazon hundreds and maybe thousands of times, different types of password logbook books. Now, if you looked at the pure numbers of password logbooks, for example, you can come on to Amazon search here for password logbooks and see that there are just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different types of password logbooks okay so for the most part a lot of these books like i said with the people that publish them they're operating like they're the first person into this niche and the reality is that they're not so the mistake that i think people are making is that when they do the niche research and they find something like password logbooks they'll see a book like this here and it just says internet address and password logbook they'll see that it's got 2000 600 reviews it's ranked 5000 in books therefore it's making tons of sales which it is obviously and therefore making tons of money so all they need to do from there is to go ahead and create their own fancy looking uh, password logbook so the reason why this doesn't work anymore is because for example this book here was uploaded back in 2017 so it's probably one of the first to come out in terms of having a password logbook so when you're first to something in a marketplace like Amazon and it people actually want it then you're on to an absolute gold mine. So if you can be the first to something like this, then you're going to make a ton of money. But it's extremely hard to know what to be first to. So that's why we go and do our research on Amazon and look for niches that we know are selling. So we don't, we're not the ones that come up with these niche ideas. We're just the ones that sort of do the niche research, see that the niche has traffic going to it, and then we put our version of that of that book out there. So if someone wants a generic looking password logbook and you upload something that looks like this here. So this was uploaded recently, July 11th, 2021. Password logbook, really generic looking book. So imagine the last four years of Amazon being uploaded with generic looking password logbooks. The customer, if they want a normal looking logbook like this, they can buy ones that have thousands of reviews already. So the chances of someone who wants an ordinary looking password logbook like this one here, the chances are they're not going to buy this one. They're going to buy the one with 2000 reviews and they're not going to buy the ones that look like this. OK, so what happens here when people upload books like this, they realize that these type of books can't make them many sales. So what they do is they start putting out tons and tons of different slight variations of this type of book. So they will take this, they'll have like a flower theme on one of them. And then on the next one, they have like a, a sunset theme or just a black theme or a different pattern theme. And they do the same thing over and over and over and they spam Amazon with this low quality, low content book and end up not making many sales because all the sales are going to someone like this here. OK, so to summarize here, what people are doing is that they're ultimately competing with well established books. OK, and not only are they competing with well established books, but they're also competing with hundreds of the similar type of book. OK, so there's no reason for someone to buy a book like this over something like this here okay so this is a nicer design it has password book on the front just the same as the other ones but this was uploaded in 2019 so again this one is well established as well so in 2021 if you're trying to upload a book that's similar to this so just like a 
a book that has a floral theme and just has password book on the front, the chances of you making sales are quite slim because people have been there and they've done that and they already offer something that has like thousands of reviews that the customer is more likely to buy from them instead of you. So what do we do in order to counter this and to stand out in saturated marketplaces? So I hope this is making sense so far. And the way that we stand out is that we need to be the first person in our niche to do something unique, okay? So this might sound harder than it actually is. I'm gonna give examples of what I mean here. So if you're interested in selling password logbooks in what would probably be considered a saturated niche, then you can't just upload something that says internet address and password logbook, password book or something generic like that, okay? Because these books have been done and what we wanna do and what was spoken about in previous videos is putting our own unique spin on these books, okay? So ultimately what will happen here is that we're gonna enter into a niche that has tons of traffic going to it. So we can see just from the rankings that this niche has tons and tons of traffic going to it, tons of buyer traffic going to it. But what we're gonna be doing is putting out our unique version of this. And by a unique version, I don't just mean changing the background slightly or putting out 20 or 30 slightly different types of book cover for the same niche. I don't mean that. What I mean is we need to actually think about who we're targeting and what we can offer them that's different than other people. So let me give you an example here. This book here was uploaded in on July the 2nd, 2021. So only just a couple of weeks ago, this book was uploaded and it's seeing some really great results already. Now, the reason why this book is selling ahead of something like this book here is because it has something unique, something extra toward that audience that already has traffic going to it. So what does it have that it's unique? So it has the picture of this sad looking cat and it says, what the heck is my password on the front? So. I can pretty much guarantee that this person, they are one of the first people on the entirety of Amazon to have a sad looking cat that says, what the heck is my password on a password logbook, okay? So we're still in this really hot niche. It's a really hot niche that we found, but we're putting out a unique version of it. So ultimately we're taking a saturated niche and kind of creating our own individual niche within it that targets people that, for example, like cats and they want a funny saying on the front or maybe even a swear word on the front like this one here at the bottom that you can see. But the point is that this person is probably the first person to do this. They have a unique spin on a niche that's already really hot, okay? But you do need to bear in mind that just because you make something unique on Amazon, it doesn't mean that it's gonna sell for you. When it comes to publishing and especially with low content books, what we want to do, especially in 2021 and beyond, is to really optimize our chances of making sales with every single book that we publish. So the more unique that we are, the better chance we have of making sales, but doesn't mean we are going to make sales with it. But we have a damn good chance more of making sales with a unique book than something generic like this here, okay? So this is thoughtless work in my opinion. It doesn't take any effort to create something like this. A hundred million people can do this type of work. But this little bit extra thought like this here, this is what can be the absolute difference between making sales and not making sales. And I did a test not long ago before I actually, so you know, I got caught up in this sort of whole low content thing where I was making books like this. So not duplicate content or anything, you know, spammy or anything like that, but I was making bad books like this, not necessarily bad, you know, no disrespect to anyone that publishes on anything on Amazon, but nothing unique, nothing exciting. And I was publishing quite a lot of these books in different niches and it wasn't working for me. And it got to a point where I actually just thought, you know what, I want to be the first person that has a certain type of book on Amazon. I want to be this, like this person here, for example, I want my books to be unique and really stand out. And what I found when I went through my reports at the end of a couple of months ago, or the month before that, or the month before that, Every time I look through the reports, the books that sold the most were the ones that I put this unique spin on. So the books that I made that were completely unique on Amazon that no one else has produced before or even similar to, those are the ones that were making me sales. And the ones, the generic looking ones like this here, those are the ones that weren't making me any sales or maybe one sale a month for some of them here and there, but nothing significant. And what I found with my unique books is that if I was the first person to do a design like this, then no matter who copied me afterwards, like people would copy my work and pretty much word for word, which takes no effort at all. 
no matter how many people did that after me, I'm still the one that makes the sales because I was the one that was first to it. And that's kind of similar to the broad niche here, where this person was probably one of the first to this niche. And that's why they're making all the sales from it. So you're not going to get this type of ranking probably from a password logbook, no matter what you do, but you can still optimize your chances of getting a good ranking, making sales, if you are the first person within that niche to do something different. And the way that we can do that is actually quite simple. We need to get in touch with our audience. So we've, we've done our niche research for something like password logbooks. We know that there's search volume going to these books, but what we need to do is take information from different books on Amazon and just try and patch together something that is unique, something that we can sell toward this audience. So when I scroll through Amazon and look at other people's password logbooks, I can see that things with swear words on the front are selling, things with um, floral patterns are selling as well, things with animals on are selling as well. So cats, for example, again, more swear words are selling, black backgrounds are selling with white text on the front, they're selling, more animals are selling, but this person, Again, they've literally copied what the other person is doing and they're not going to see as good a result. So as you can see here, this person uploads a what the heck on June the 2nd. They're the one with good reviews. They're the one with the good sales ranking. And then this person comes in, tries to copy that exactly with the cat and the funny saying a couple of days later. And granted, they've made a couple of sales here probably, but they can make so much more money if they just had something that was absolutely unique to them. So you could look at that and think, well, people like cats, obviously. The whole cat thing is selling with the the password logbook. So what can we do that is going to be the first in this niche? So we can be, we want to be like this person here, for example. So once we've taken all that data, you know, swear words, cats, people like cats and all those type of things, we can then create our book around the information that we think our customers are liking within the password logbook niche. So once you've gathered some information about the niche that you're selling in, so even just looking through the first page there, I could see that a few things were quite popular within this niche. So we had the swear words and the funny sayings on the front, we've got the kittens and things like that. Once you've gathered some of that information, you can then take that and then make your own unique version of a book from that. So by unique version of it, I mean, mostly for low content books, it's gonna be the front cover. Obviously, if you want to make the interior different and relate to the front cover, you can do that as well. And you're probably gonna increase your chances of making sales if you do that as well. And just quickly before I move on to the example that I'm gonna create here on Canva, I just wanna make it clear that I, I make sure that I have unique interiors made from Upwork. Um, I want to be the only person to have my type of interior. I don't want Amazon to ever look through anything on Amazon and be like, oh, all these different authors, they have the same interior. Why is that? Um, I want to keep my account safe. I feel more confident about spending a few quid or a few dollars on a unique interior. And that's why I do that. Okay. So back to the topic here about creating our own unique book. So once I've got all that information, then I can come and create my own. So here I am over at Canva where I have just very quickly created this cover here and what I've done here what the idea here was that I took all this information that I knew was quite good for a very hot selling niche the password logbook niche I found things that were selling and popular within that niche then I created my own unique version of this book in Canva so once you've done something like this here obviously this isn't particularly good because I just done it very quickly but once you've done this congratulations you are the first person on the entirety of Amazon to have this book. Whereas something like this, they are not the first person. They are maybe the hundredth person to do this type of book. But this here, you're gonna be the first person with a unique spin on that already good selling niche. I hope this is making sense. So in a nutshell here, Amazon, everything, most books, low content books are now saturated. They've been saturated in that sense since like 2019, 2020, whatever. It's so much competition. And the problem here is that people are always looking for this new sort of niche where they can just upload anything and make sales. And that used to be the case where you could probably just upload anything and make sales if you had the right selling niche. But the reality is here that you're running out. Amazon has run out of that type of book. And, you know, you're probably going to find some here and there with low content publishing where you can just put out generic looking um, book covers and make sales just through virtue of there not being much competition. But but everyone that's trying to make money online, especially within sort of Amazon's domain, everyone knows about low content publishing. Everyone's trying it. It's accessible by anyone. Independent 
publishing is accessible by anyone. So with free software like Canva and things like that, everyone can create these books. And that's why there's so much competition. And that's why like being generic just doesn't work anymore. And that's why I think that this is the way forward, especially with low content book publishing. And the difference between making something unique that sells and the difference between making something generic that doesn't sell is only a matter of a little bit of thought. And that's the problem when it comes to low content publishing and publishing in general. People think that the niche is just going to carry them. And sometimes it can, but for the most part, the niche cannot carry you. You can't just put whatever you want out there and expect to make sales. And that's why you get these publishers that shove out 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 different versions of the same book. It's because that's what they need to do because each individual book isn't unique enough to make sales. And obviously, we don't want to go that route ever, ever, ever because Amazon, I do believe, will do something about it at some point. I kind of hope Amazon will start charging per listing, but I don't think that will happen, but that would be my ideal. So I hope this is starting to make sense to you. And this is the way that I've been having success with low content books. And I can promise you, if you adopt this mentality of being the first person into a saturated niche, being unique inside that niche, I promise you that you'll have more success than just doing what people like this are doing, where they're just uploading. And I knew this before I even clicked on this person's page here, that they were just going to have tons of very, very similar designs with slight changes in it. And of course, they're not really making any sales. And I can guarantee that they're just copying these quotes off of other people's books as well. OK, just hoping eventually that they're going to see a sale from some of these and they might do. That's up to them. That's their pursuit. But for me and what I hope other people who watch this channel will do is just try and make less books, but make them more unique be the first one on Amazon to do the type of book that you're doing. Okay, so how about things like higher content books and medium content books? So things like activity books and coloring books, are they saturated as well? Absolutely, of course they are. Coloring books for kids, coloring books for adults. It's all saturated in, in the sense that there are just in that sort of broad niche of coloring books, there are hundreds and thousands of different types out there. So Obviously, when it comes to these higher and medium content books, we need to niche down again, just like we would do with low content books, we would niche down and then do something unique within that niche as well. So for example, let's take a look at funny coloring books for vets. And my opinion here when it comes to medium content and higher content books is that you need to take more time and be the one that has higher quality as well as offering something different as well. So with medium content and higher content books, strive for as much quality as you can, because with medium, uh, with lower content books, there's only so much you can do with, in, with the interiors and the front covers in terms of quality. We're always striving for quality, but with medium content and higher content books, we can do so much more to make sure that our books really stand out on Amazon. So once we've niched down and we found a niche, so like vet coloring book here, funny vet coloring books, we go back and we tick off those two same things. We want the quality. So if we're outsourcing, which most of us will be, we want to outsource from someone reliable, someone that gives us unique content, someone that gives us higher content. And that's up to you where you get this from. I use Upwork to outsource, but the focus is always going to be on quality and what you spend to acquire that quality. It's going to be down to you and how, how much you dig through Upwork and places like that to find someone reliable and good. So again, when it comes to being unique here, we need to get in touch with the niche. So for example, the veterinarian coloring book niche here, it's going to be something that most coloring books like this are going to be targeted at people that are that have a sense of humor. They're looking for something funny, looking for something relaxed to help their stressful job. And it needs to really touch the person that it's being sold to or gifted to in this case, probably. So, for example, this book here on the front cover, we have I can't fix stupid, but I can help their animals, which I would imagine is the first type of its book to have that on the front cover. And for some people, seeing a front cover like that with a funny saying on the front that they've never heard before, this is going to really speak to them. And even just the cover like this is going to help increase sales massively. So this is a new book and it's already selling quite well just because it's unique. And I assume that the book inside is going to be quite high quality as well. And yep, it's a pretty good interior from what I can see on the back here, which is just going to be funny quotes inside as well. So that's how we can make sales in typically saturated niches. Now that doesn't mean that we have to apply this principle to every type of book that we publish. So for example, if you're in a niche where there isn't much competition, so let's say, for example, you found something like word searches for adults, which the broad niche is typically going to be considered saturated. However, if you find a good niche within that niche, so, so let's say, for example, 
if you're looking at word searches and you came across country music word searches, I'm not saying do that because of maybe copyright stuff, but example here, if you then did your research on country music word searches and you found that there wasn't much competition at all, then go for it. Like you don't necessarily have to put a unique spin on it when there's not much competition. Everything's about standing out. So we can do that in different ways. And with low content books, mainly it's going to be by putting a unique spin on existing niches. But with other books, sometimes you can just niche down even further and then carry on making sales. And you can even do that with low content books as well. But it's just going to be much harder to find. So here, for example, with word searches, you're not going to be able to come. Well, it's going to be unlikely that you'll be able to come onto Amazon, create yourself a word search book, generic word search book with 100 word searches in it, and then start making sales. It's probably not going to happen. You can look at just niching down if you can't think of any unique spin to put on the book. So, for example, if I do search for country music word search here, and it probably isn't actually a good niche, but let's just use it as an example and assume that it was a good niche and had lots of traffic going to it. If I could see that there wasn't many search results and when I scroll through and go onto the second page or the third page and I see that the search results aren't becoming relevant to country music anymore, then I'll know that that niche is something that I don't need to put a unique spin on. The niching down within that niche is its unique spin. And that's where the sales are going to come from. That's where you're going to stand out. So I hope that makes sense. If you're niching down and you can see that the niche in terms of competition is dying off very quickly on the, the front page of your search results, that means that there's going to be room for you to compete and put your version out there without having to do anything special with and start making sales. And the same could be said for other niches like coloring books as well. If you find a good niche that doesn't have much competition, if you've niched down within. So for example, if we just look for something like retirement coloring book for seniors, which is just something random I've just searched for here, and we could see that it was making sales and didn't have many search results returned to us, we could just assume that we can put out our high quality version of this book and not necessarily have to make any kind of unique spin necessarily. Because just through virtue of there being a lack of competition, we will be able to stand out and make sales. And one of the reasons why we can't necessarily do this all the time with low content books is just because there is so many out there. Like I said before, there's just, it's just Amazon is flooded with them. Sub niches, sub sub niches within those broad niches, they're kind of saturated as well. But with things that are harder to create like coloring books and activity books, there's gonna be less competition. The harder it is to create, the less competition that there is. The more money it takes to create something, the less competition there's gonna be as well. And that's what gives us an opportunity to stand out again in saturated markets, which ultimately for this is niching down, okay? So in terms of going forward into 2000, the end of 2021 and into 2022 and beyond, what's great about being unique in your niche is that when it comes to running ads to your books, you're gonna be paying less per click when it comes to running these ads. So imagine that you're running an ad for something as popular as just a generic coloring book, for example. The amount that you would have to pay Amazon in terms of clicks for your bids is gonna be much higher than it would be for something that say, if you were targeting retirement coloring book for seniors, the cost for the, the click on that, the advertising cost will be much less, okay? So the chances of you creating a, a generic coloring book and making a profit with that especially through ads, is going to be quite slim because you're going to be paying a lot just to get clicks on your book, okay? So there are plenty of benefits of being the first type of person to your niche with a unique book or niching down and creating a high quality book. There's plenty of advantages to that than just being generic. And I promise you, if you adopt this mentality, you're going to have much more success and you're going to have success for a much longer period of time. And it's one of those things that once you start learning to be unique with your books, you're going to become more and more creative as you go through your publishing journey. And the more creative you become, the more unique your books are going to become. And therefore, the more sales you're going to acquire and more money you're going to make ultimately. OK, so let's just summarize this video quickly before I end it. Don't be the person that uploads books like this. You've probably missed your chance by quite a few years to just have the ability to upload a simple book like this and make sales. OK, that time is gone. We're in 2021. We need to be unique. And if we can't be unique, then we need to look at niching down in order to acquire those sales instead. OK, and if you can combine the two, that's even better. So just quickly before I end this video here, what do I mean by combining the two? So the two factors that we had here were we needed to have the unique book, for example, and then we looked at niching down in the second example. So what we can do is to combine those two things together to create an even more unique book. So for example, if we, we looked at password logbooks, 
So imagine if we niche down from there and did something like password logbook for seniors. Okay, so that already in its own is a unique audience because we've niched down. But what about if we niche down and then put a unique spin onto our password logbook for seniors? Okay, so we created a unique cover that no one else has seen it before on Amazon with a unique design or a unique saying. We've combined those two things and we're on to an absolute winner of a product. And again, this doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make sales. Everything we do is about optimizing our chances of making sales. So the more generic you are, the less thought that you put into your business, the less thought you put into your books and the ideas for those books, the less chance you'll have of making sales. OK, OK, so that's it for this video. Now, in my opinion, this is the most important video that I've made because being unique and having a high quality book is pretty much everything on Amazon minus the niche that you're in. So those three things, the niche, quality, and the uniqueness of your book and that's one thing people never talk about is the uniqueness of your book and it's something that people just overlook completely and is a huge factor in my opinion when it comes to making sales so hopefully this has changed your your mindset in terms of uploading these sort of low quality thoughtless low content and medium content books and i look forward to putting out some more videos for you very soon